and welcome to the latest video um, which is going to guide you through an exam question. Um, today we have a higher grade question and it involves manipulating some algebra. So let's jump straight into the question and let's see what we've got to do. So the question says that we need to show that everything on the left hand side is equal to everything on the right hand side for all values of x. Okay. So what I'm going to do, how I'm going to work this out is I'm to start off with, I'm going to multiply out the first two brackets, okay? So I can use either the, the foil method or I can use the smiley face method, whichever version you're used to. Um, but let's see, here I've got 3x times x is 3x squared. Here I've got minus 1 times 5, so that's minus 5. Here... I've got minus 1 times x, so that's minus x. And here, I've got 3x times 5, which is 15x. So 15x, okay? So with a little bit of simplifying of this and rearranging them into a more appropriate order, we have 3x squared plus 14x minus 5, okay? So that's these first two brackets sorted, okay? Now I'm going to put those back into brackets because, of course, in the question, I need to multiply them by the third bracket, okay? So the third bracket, of course, is 4x minus 3. Right. Once I've got to this stage, I can then start to multiply everything out, okay? Um, and so I'm going to do this in a really sort of methodical manner. So first of all, I'm going to multiply the... Uh, the second bracket, each part of the second bracket by this, okay? So 3x squared times 4x is going to be 12x cubed. 3x squared times negative 3 is going to be negative 9x squared. Now I'm going to move on to this. 14x times 4x, 14 multiplied by 4 is 56. And so I've got uh, plus 56x squared. And then 14x times negative 3. 14 times 3 is going to be 42. And so I've got minus 42x. Onto this last bit, I've got negative 5 times 4x is negative 20x. And then negative 5 times negative 3 is positive 15. Okay? So they're my six factors. What I now need to do is I now need to start to simplify this, okay? So let's start with the, uh, the easiest of all, which we've only got one of. So it's 12x cubed. Now let's sort out the x squareds. Negative 9 add 56 is... 47. So I've got 47x squared. Okay. Then I'm here and I've got negative 42 take away 20 gives me negative 62x. And then finally I've got plus 15. And as if by magic, what I've done by manipulating the left hand side, I've actually managed to create this here. Okay. So the fact that I've managed to do that means that I've shown it is accurate for all values of x, okay? Um, so yeah, so that's quite a nice question. It's certainly a good question to, to be able to do and get marks from. Um, and hopefully this little method will show you that just by taking it one step at a time, okay? I'm not worried about all three brackets to start off with. First of all, I've just worried about the two brackets. Turn that into a larger bracket, then multiply it by the next one. Okay, each time work with what you know, do what you can do, build on it, and then you will end up solving what might at first seem like a really complicated problem. Okay, listen, guys, I hope you found that useful. As always, any questions, please let me know. Um, if you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you found it not very useful, give me a thumbs down. Um, if you've got any requests for any topics you'd like me to go through, drop me a message either as a comment on the video or via my email address. Um, but yeah, listen guys, keep on going. Um, thanks ever so much, 
and I will see you all again very soon. For now, goodbye. Bye-bye.